Today in Boston, not far from there, we interviewed Jeff Bauman. It was the first television interview for the man who appeared in a gripping and graphic photo which showed his rescue just after the bombing, which claimed both of his legs and still has left him hard of hearing. He's 27. He worked at Costco. He's now devoting his efforts to recovering with a lot of help. He's the one who saw one of the suspected bombers, the Sarnayev brother who was since killed. Jeff Bauman told us today certain things bring back that day. I remember everything. You know, I, I remember a little bit more sometimes. Yeah. Does anything trigger it? I mean, I, if I were you, I've been thinking about this, I probably wouldn't want to see media, pictures, videotape. Yeah. I, I can't Google my name. I, I mean, I love the articles, but I scroll down and I see the images, and that does, it gives me like an instant flashback yeah. of this uh, pool of blood that I was laying in. You saw the guy, and all of us have used the expression in our lives, in your case, it's more serious than others. He didn't look right. No. I mean, he just, you could tell people that were there for the marathon because everyone was watching the marathon and everyone was having fun, like, you know, talking. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. We're yelling, screaming, clapping. Everyone's clapping and cheering. You know, it's like a fun atmosphere. It was great. And he was just like that holding his backpack, like not talking to anybody. He wasn't with anybody. He was standing right next to me. So I was like, like, who's he with? Like, what's he doing? Like, that's, he's kind of weird. He's out of place. And so much security around there, right where you were. Yeah. And we now know a ton of cameras. And you were so crucial in the investigation as soon as you came to. Yeah. Even in the ambulance ride, I was trying to say something trying to say like I knew who did it I knew what went on and I think they were kind of thrown back by that they were like what you knew what went on you know what happened and I was like yeah I saw the guy I think that's what I said I was like I saw the guy wow. I just wanted to get a face out there and just to help I just wanted to help you know if there's something to feel good about feel good about the fact that you sped this investigation along man you were the break I think about that I do, and I'm, I'm just glad he, they couldn't hurt him. I know they, they shot that officer. They snuck up on him, and that's horrible. That was, that's, but um, I'm just glad they didn't go down, and I know they have plans for New York. That's what I heard, and they would have injured a lot more people. How do you keep mentally strong? How do you keep from replaying decisions you made, crazy little tiny things you made that day that ended up affecting everything? I, I, I mean, that does happen. I do do it. Being active and being out and doing stuff takes my mind off of everything. And you can't think, you can't think of like what happened, what, what would have happened if I ate something different for breakfast that took a little bit longer or I did something else. You can't really replay it because it's in the past. You got to move forward. Where do you see yourself in five years? I, I really want to do something great. I want to be out there. I want to help people. I want to just help people. I want to. That's what I want to do.